Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another video, man. I saw this title from DoDash, and I had to check this one out. She said, let's talk about what the haters are accusing me of. So now their accusations, even though she has come out and admitted to some of this stuff herself and cried in videos and put on a show and all that stuff. But I just want to add for clarification, I am not a hater. That Like, in order to hate on somebody, they probably have to be doing better than you, you know? Like, and... And she has 3 million views total her entire career. That's a terrible month for me. Like I have videos, I have single videos with more views than her entire career on all of her channels combined, including the stuff that she used to post on to scam people with. Like including all those channels combined, like two of my videos probably make up that, that entire career. So just, just wanted to put that out there. That may, maybe it was a little toxic, but I just had to clear up the fact. I'm not a hater. I am not a hater. Like when I when I say real stuff and I try to educate and help people grow and things like that, it's it's coming from a real genuine place to be honest. Like the the truth of the matter is, when it comes down to her, she had a lot of potential to do good. She she could have helped so many people. She could have genuinely helped people grow and change their lives. But she was only looking out for herself. She was only being selfish, and she was just trying to run up money. That's it. She was in position to change lives genuinely, and that is a blessing from God. But she's deceptive, and we're finna check it out. We're finna see what's going on. You ever been beat down so much that all you wanna do is just win? You're tired of the- First off, she's sweating already, by the way. I'm, this is some YouTube 101. She's, I don't know how many times she shot this and tried to re, like reshoot it, but she was already tired. She, she's sweating already. So she's been rehearsing this and trying to pump herself up to, to put, on this little, put on this little show or whatever. You're tired of the wait. You're tired of being looked over. You're tired of being down. You're tired. And look at, did you notice that cut right there? Like, you probably didn't er er learn this in her editing course, but look at the cut right there. It wasn't even, she had to go back later and add in a, a more aggressive down. Like, wait, you're tired of being looked over. You're tired of being down. You're tired. Look at that. You see how she had to switch it, like, like switch cut, like she had to cut. Listen, when you're having a genuine feelings and you have something that you need to say, you just say it. You don't do all this extra animated editing and cutting and all of this stuff. You wouldn't need all of that. Um, it's, it's looked like you just watched a Creflo, Creflo Dollar sermon and then you just got on here like, okay, I know how the pastors do it. Like, like, hey, what, what you on? Tired of losing. You're tired of the excuses. You're tired of holding yourself back. You're tired of the shyness. It's time to fight, baby. It's time to fight. Fight back. Cause you have the ability to live an amazing life. That's what I told myself when I lost over a hundred pounds. That's what I told myself when I started my YouTube and I kept going. A lot of people may not believe in you, but you gotta believe in you. And baby, when you believe in you, watch out, baby! Watch out! Watch out for me! Watch out for me! Cause when I believe in me, baby, we throwing bows on all the doubt. We throwing bows on the enemy. We throwing bows, baby. Period. This is like, this is a lot going on. This is definitely a lot going on. I think it's way too much happening right here. Like, what's, what's, what are we talking about? I ain't got no neighbors. My neighbors were evicted. Something that could have happened to me because I was late on my rent every month for eight months straight. And I would call my landlord. I'm going to be late again. One time I was a whole month late, but I kept waking up at five o'clock in the morning and going to sleep at, at 12 o'clock, midnight, two o'clock, stressed out, anxiety, trying to pay my bills, doing food delivery, about to give up on myself, asking people for money. My she started asking people, she went from asking people for money to scamming people for it. That's crazy. That's dirty work right there. That That is insane. And they tried to play victim after keeping four thousand dollars from people. They they gave her four thousand dollars. She spent it and then wanted to claim that, oh, this I, I did not scam you all though, and it hurts me that that you all would feel this way. Like, what what where my four thousand? Like, where, where's where's everybody money? Like, and, and this this is what happens. She smoke screens using her animation and 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 jumping around and all this stuff and and like she hasn't even really accomplished much. Like, what are you? Like she, she had a good, like the thing is she has an audience full of people smaller than her. That's why everybody's impressed by the stuff that she got going on. Like, but at the point where your entire career can be summed up to two of my videos, 
on, on every channel you've ever created in your life, on every social media platform, it's just two videos for me. And don't and don't get it twisted. Like I know my place too. You can take somebody like I Show Speed. They probably have nah. Ain't nobody got like one video that's outdoing my career. But they probably got maybe like two or three. Like two or three can outdo my career probably. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, but hey, listen, no, very few people got one video that's 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 dogging me. I'm just. I'm just saying, like, that's what happened when God really on your side of you putting in work, though. Like, I, I, just, I just gotta talk, man. I gotta pop it. She popping it. I gotta pop it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Dignity. My, my, my anxiety. I never had so much anxiety in my life. But I told myself I'm waking up every morning at 6 a.m. And I'm going to that track. No excuses. Because the life I want... Ain't nobody gonna give it to me. 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 And you have to realize that. You have to realize that. Nobody's gonna hand you the 60,000 subscribers. Nobody's gonna give you money all the time when you need it. But they did give you money and you didn't give them the product in return. <laughs> what, what are we talking about? And by the way, but I was looking for a picture. I was going to be petty. I, I lost 150 pounds and you ain't never seen me get on camera doing all this, bro. Like, and that's the thing. It's like when you're accomplishing stuff and you working and you working on your mission for God, like you was just walking in your purpose. You're not sitting around here trying to convince people that you are some some great being and stuff, asking people for money, asking for handouts and favors, trying to monetize your audience in every single way while giving a very little minimal value to people. Like your energy, your energy tricks people who already somewhat like you. And they, that makes them want to be on your side. Like you have a likable personality, but the thing is you have to hold yourself accountable for the bullshit that you're doing. At the end of the day, you could be doing a lot more for these people. You could be helping these people change their lives and all you're doing is trying to fill your pockets. They probably can't see through it, but some of us can out here. And, and this pathetic. And this is why you're at a, in a position where your your greatest success is you have less than you have less than four million views total in your life. Like I have one video, one video, and and that's crazy. The problem is, you need to change yourself. Yes, you've been blessed with a position, but take advantage because God ain't gonna keep blessing you. You've been scamming people. You've been doing all type of shady shit. And if it's a if it's a circumstantial thing. You just were in a shitty circumstance. You made some bad decisions because you were uneducated. Cool, own that shit, but stop all the crying. Stop all the theatrics. Nobody want to hear that shit. Like, be real, be honest, and change and grow. You you in a different place. You have like the problem is you're doing this shit on purpose. You're doing this on purpose. I don't think that it's accidental. I don't think I think that you're a con artist. That's what it appears to look like. You're good at speaking though. You're good at speaking, motivating, and, and getting people on your side. Clearly. You have to find the fight. Find the fight on the inside of you and get up and show people who you are. You may not have started out with the silver platter, but baby, you can do it. Every I come from the trenches of Chicago. I was 350 pounds at my heaviest. I almost died around COVID time. And yeah, I've I've gone through a lot of struggles. But the thing is, I got off my ass and I figured it out. When I was dying and no doctor could figure out what was going on, I had to figure out my own health and change my own habits and do the things that I had to do to understand myself. It's like the thing is when you a fraud, like you you're, you can, a fraud can easily be seen through. Like when you don't really been through shit and you don't really live that life, like you say you say like your audience is lazy. They don't want to put in the work. They, they're bullshit artists just like you. The difference is you're your queen bullshit. Like, people see through the nonsense. The thing is, you got to stop letting yourself be full of shit. Because it don't matter how lucky you got, because that's what you got. You got lucky. But, you you like, your audience has to, has to they got to wake the fuck up and actually start changing themselves. Because I don't care about the excuses. I don't care about the theatrics. I don't really been through shit and overcame it. It's like, you don't got to do all this. I don't got to do all that. It's like, I put in work. Serious work. I have serious accomplishments. And it's crazy. It's crazy you're doing all this for attention and view. You're doing all this because your views is going down. The only reason you attract... 
I guarantee you, if your views was going up on these revenue updates and stuff like that, and you were still making the money that you were making before, you would not be even be attempting to address this or attention to, uh, attempt, attempting to bring this type of energy and all that. You wouldn't be doing that. But your views is going down and you're trying to save your ass. It's pathetic. Doing all this for crumbs on YouTube, when it's very easy to make a lot of money, especially in your position. I have entire videos explaining how you can actually bring value to people and make money because YouTube is not about you. It's about the value that you're bringing to other people. That's what it's about. And when you learn that, you'll become more successful. Like this, the people who, who look up to you, praise you, thinking that you're successful, they look up to you. I look down to your accomplishments. It's not, you, you haven't done much. Like I, I, I was proud of you at one point, but at, at the point where I saw that you just out here frauding, it's, it's crazy. It's nothing to be proud of, but everybody deserves a second chance and, and I think everybody can change. But the thing is you don't even acknowledge your faults. And it's crazy. God ain't gonna keep blessing some shit like that. But I guess we'll see. Time will tell. Your numbers will tell. We'll see how, like, if this video sparks some type of interest and sparks some type of virality and or something like that, we'll see how long it lasts. Because you have to make some real changes. You can't just address this in a bullshit way and think that, oh, my view's gonna come back. People might watch this video, but come on now. You gotta really, you gotta really be a d different person. Every day it might hurt. Doing a keto diet is not fun. But baby, the strength you get. It's not fun. And I can go in the bathroom right now and show you the keto test test um strips. I can show you pictures of me when I was overweight, 350 pounds. Like what she's talking about, I live it. I can show you test results where, where my urine was tested and there's ketones in them. I, I can I can show you what she's actually preaching about. Like it, it's crazy. Like like she's not completely she's not completely without experience. She's just full of shit because she talks more than she takes action. Like that that's what it comes down to because she's lazy. She's still lazy. Even with this minimal success she's had, she's lazy. And talking this, giving these pe like you're talking to people even lazier than you. Come on now. These people know damn well they just got to get up, stop making excuses and do it. Learn the hard way. Keep working. Keep pushing. The reason that you're motivating people is because it's a bunch of lazy people who think it's going to be easy because they watch you. Come on now. Nah, y'all got to get up and work. Get to work. The lazy brigade got to get off y'all asses and just go hard. That, that's all it take. It don't take all these theatrics. I, I'd be damned I get on camera doing this shit. This is pathetic, to be honest. This is sad. You get on camera crying, oh, y'all gave me $4,000 and I can't pay it, but I'm not a scammer. Don't look at me that way. And then what? They never get their money. They they never get the product. You You use the money and you pay your bills with it. It's like, come on now. What do you call it? You know what you're doing to people. Gain from it. The weight loss that comes from it. The ability to have some amazing things in your life. Because nobody gonna give it to you. But you gonna give it to you. You gonna give it to you, baby. And I wish you would. God gives it to you. You, you don't do shit. You sit here and try to scam people. That's what you do. But you don't give it to yourself. God give it to you. You got to remember the most high. And when you out here doing people the way that you're doing them, you you going to remember who's stronger than you. He going to send a message at a certain point. Like, he's blessing you. He's, he's trying to test you. Like, you're being tested. But if you keep failing, let's see how long you can be up here screaming and people taking the shit serious. Take it from me, because I'm going to give it to me every time. Every single time. God is on your side. God is on my side, period, point blank. I got tired of the excuses. God was on your side while he ain't help you pay back that 4,000. If, if God was on your side, like why why do you have it now? And you you have, have you made that right? Have you paid back those people now that you're making all this money? Like, let's talk about God. Are, are, are the things that you're doing of God? Like, let's talk about how the, the minimal value you're selling to people, you're giving them 40 minute a 40 minute video for how much money? Like, like what was that? $27 for a 40 minute video when you don't even know how to edit your goddamn self. Like let, let's talk about what you're doing to God's people out here. And then let's, let's, let's see if you can still convince people that you're, you're doing this with God's blessing. Like you, you're trying to little, you're trying to 
you're manipulating people who are the most in need, who need the most help, who want the most for themselves, but don't know how to change their situation or push themselves or motivate themselves. You're, you're, you're taking people who are already weak and you're trying to be a slight beacon of hope, just enough hope so they can get up and find a way to pay you or support you and buy things from you. It's not to really change their lives, it's to change yours. You're trying to change yours by being a piece of shit, but it takes more than that to change your life. You gotta actually change who you are. You have the life that represents the person that you are. That's the, that's the life that you have. So you want a different life, become a different person. Your life is because of the choices that you have been making, the person that you are. Make different choices. It's very simple. Life ain't hard. Once you become a different person, become a person that has a better life because you have the life that you deserve. You have the life that you have worked for. Regardless of how your life is, you have the life that you have worked for. I got tired of crying about my weight. I am deserving of an amazing life. See what I mean? You got tired of crying about your weight. I ain't never cried about my weight. Either you want to change or you don't. And ain't nobody gonna give it to you but you and God, baby. And when you realize that, you'll stop them excuses. You'll stop letting another year go by, not being at your, at your healthy weight. You'll stop letting a year go by in that relationship that ain't serving you nothing. You'll stop letting a year go by at that job when you know you have other plans and dreams for your life. You'll stop being scared of dying in homelessness. And you'll say, I lay it all on the line, baby, because if I'm alive, I'm gonna live. And that's on facts. That's on facts. So have you ever said to yourself, I am tired of the excuses. I am tired of losing. I am tired of being in this position. You want to know why you're not where you want to be? Ain't got Cause they sitting around watching you, watching a show. This is a movie right now they're watching. And people believe it. People are getting inspired and motivated by it, but it's a movie. The reason that they're not where they want to be is because they'll do this but they won't turn this bullshit off and just get off their ass and take action. Like, turn this off, turn on your camera, click record, and start talking. It's that simple, but they won't do that. Instead, they go, you go, girl, you talking your shit, oh yeah, and they gonna go and watch some fucking TV, go do some other bullshit with their life that that's not gonna serve their higher purpose or serve God. That's what they're gonna do. Just that's the same shit that you're doing. Like, except for you're using them. You're using them to feed yourself. That, that's it. You're using them to try to maintain your life, your lifestyle. You're a user. It's crazy. It's got nothing to do with how people love you. It's got everything to do with how you love you. <sighs> Nobody's giving me an opportunity. That's because you... Don't see yourself as the opportunity. It ain't got nothing to do with the business suit, that Chanel bag, that Louis Vuitton purse. Baby, you don't need none of that for people to see who you are. You sh That is true. People can see straight through you. Straight through you. Shine because you are a star. Period. Until you realize that you will continue to be down on yourself, low on yourself. Nobody wants to follow me. Nobody wants to watch me. Why am I not getting the numbers? Why am I not growing? Because you have not grown. And you're still in that same mindset that keeps you curled up in a corner as if you don't matter. But baby, I had to learn that nobody was buying my product because I wasn't the product. I stood in the back. And then I'm mad because I don't get no... No. It's a lot of people who sell products and they're not the product. Nobody was buying your product because you're shit at sales. You're good at manipulating. You're good at being on the front lines, getting people to buy things from you. You're not good at delivering on your word. Like, you, you say that you'll teach people how to grow on YouTube. Then you give them a bunch of bullshit courses that don't help them grow at all. Like, what you what you are is a con artist. That That's, that's what you do. So it's not... 
you're a better product. You, you're better at selling people's bullshit than you are at actually selling people value. And that's, that's because you lack any value to give to people. So that's why you have to really take your own advice and change yourself. Become a different, love yourself better. Become a different person where you have value to offer people. You have nothing to offer people. That's why you have to be this, this person right here where you get to convince people that you have the answers and you get to try to sell people things. You get to do all this stuff that you're doing because you don't have to face the reality that you can just fix yourself and really be able to say the shit that you, you can really do to people. I saw one of your videos where you was thanking people for all these sales and all this stuff. And, and I, honestly, I don't believe you have those sales, but I, I've had a lot of sales of my courses. I've had a lot of sales of my um, coaching and I haven't said anything about it. It's not that I'm not thankful for it, but I don't, I know the value people are coming to me for value. I give them that value. It's that simple. It's that, it's, that's the transaction. It's like I charge for certain levels of value and, and they, they get what they pay for. And that's how that goes. You got to put on a show so people can, oh my God, people are buying the course. People are doing this. Oh, it must be good. Let me go buy it. You do everything for sales. You do everything for you. I can just sell. I can just say, yo, check it out if you really want results. And I don't got to sit here and talk about everybody who done bought. Like, I don't got to sit here and show people who all that, uh, who done bought it and stuff. Like, I don't got to do all that because people either want to change. Because it's not, it's not about the fact that other people are buying it. I don't want anybody to waste their money buying it who ain't going to take action in the first place. So I make it very clear. If you're going to take action, I'll help you change your life. But if, if, the, if the person is not going to take action anyway, I don't need them there. The fuck good are you? You're somebody else who don't do nothing. You're not going to change your life, so don't waste your money. Just go and waste your money somewhere else. I don't need it, you know? But no, you need it. You like you, like you <laughs> It's sad. It is sad. No orders. Baby, you got to show up. Show up like a star. Show up like you are deserving. Show up. Like you matter. No more of this, I'm gonna be minimal and I'm just gonna do the bare minimum. The bare minimum don't get you nowhere. The bare minimum keeps you at the bare minimum and the bare minimum keeps you in that mindset. Ironic coming from the person doing the bare minimum content on YouTube to try and get a few views and to get sales. You're doing the bare minimum. It's very clear what your audience wants to see from you. And instead, you're giving them the same video over and over and over and over. You're giving them the bare minimum while sitting here. Like, is, is anybody going to... Hopefully, your audience starts to check you on the bullshit that you say. Because I don't even watch every video and I catch the hypocrisy and the bullshit. Like, these people watching it every single day, do you think that they're not going to catch on? That Ain't nobody that damn dumb. I hope. There is a such thing as fast growth. When you realize who you are and what you are, people say whose you are. God already know whose you are. You ain't gotta keep saying whose you are. Baby, be it, be it, own it. Step up to the plate. She says the right things in the right tone. That's it, that's what she says. She says the right things, but she doesn't live it. Like you gotta live the things you talk about. You gotta you got live it, like you talking about fast growth, fast growth in what area? You said you lost all this weight. Are you still on this weight loss journey? Like you, you say you 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 this you got all this these views and success and stuff like that. Are you still growing? Are you still getting that same success? You've been on the decline since that one good month that you had. It's a slow fall. Like you have to live it. Like all this fast growth. I'm not seeing fast growth. I'm seeing the same person over and over and over, and everybody's getting bored and tired of seeing the same you. So if you're gonna preach this message, live by it. It's, it feels more real when it's real. That's my advice. People say excellence. No, you need to just step up to that power on the inside of you. That bold power that says, I don't care what nobody thinks about me. I don't care what I thought about me. I don't care about my past. Baby, show up and watch your past. Be overwritten. That that four thousand dollars you still owe people wasn't overwritten. <laughs> you scammed people out of four bands. That's crazy. What what was them that overwritten at? And it took age for me to realize this. 
But I said to myself, I'm gonna lose this hundred pounds. I'm gonna lose this hundred pounds. I'm not gonna ask nobody else for no money. I'm gonna get up every day at five o'clock in the morning and work until midnight. It may hurt, but at the end of the day, I got $300 in my morning and work until midnight. It may hurt, but at the end of the day, I Did you just edit that? You, 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 so you stopped the video. You stopped the video. You was like, where'd I leave off at? Let me go and get back into saying hurt, like, and jumping around, like, you got to do all this to pay your bills. Like, really? You know, it's a lot easier to just bring value to people. <laughs> Learn the things that you don't know. Work harder. Get smarter when it comes down to your craft. All these tags and stuff that you say is unimportant. The same things that blew you up, by the way. The YouTube algorithm, understanding that. You realize all the things that's made you successful on the platform that you accidentally lucked up and stumbled into. How about you actually learn what happened to you so you can teach it to other people? But no, that would actually take effort, right? Every day at five o'clock in the morning and work until midnight. It may hurt, but at the end of the day, I got $300 in my account. $300 I didn't have to ask nobody for. You will win. When you step in to your power of who you were created to be, it don't matter your age, baby. Step in that power. It don't matter how you look. Step in that power. It don't matter how you sound. Step in that power. It don't matter if you got one arm. Step in that power, baby. Step in it. Stop playing with the, the gift that God put on the inside of you, the power. The blood that runs through your veins. The electricity that powers you up in the morning. God already gave it to you. <sighs> okay, it's in you, baby. And if you want it, go after it. Because when you go after it, there's a power on the inside of you that rises up. You think that you're scared? You think that you don't get it? You think that things are gonna fall apart? Baby, you step up to the plate and watch how you zoom to your destiny. It is the power on the inside of us that is magnificent. You looking for it on the outside. You looking for it in the club. You looking for it between her legs. You looking for it between his legs. You looking for it somebody to console you. you What's going on? Where, where are we going with this? What's happening right now? This is insane work. Like, what am I witnessing? Like, and where is the talk about what the haters accuse you of? Where is that at? Was it the, I don't care what none of y'all think? Is that Was that the big revelation? I don't care that the haters know that I stole $4,000. I don't care that I don't know what I'm doing on YouTube and I'm charging people $27. It's like, like what, what, what is the, where, where's the, what's the, what is this video? You looking for something that's already been given to you. And sometimes, sometimes you have I've been to waiting for it to get rage better. on the inside in order to find what it is that you need is on the inside. And then you draw to you everything that you've always wanted. And once you realize that, you don't sulk. Don't be down on yourself. That is wasted time, wasted energy. Use that to nurture a baby or a puppy. Right now, we don't have time to be down on ourselves. We on a mission. We got weight to lose. We got people to inspire. We got money to make. And if you don't like making money, move to the side, baby, because we coming. And once you do make that money, you step into the power. You don't use it for your bad. Hey, I'm asleep, bro. She got one YouTube check there, start going nuts on the platform, bro. Hey, what's going on, bro? You get one YouTube check and you become a preacher. YouTube preacher, that's crazy work. Like, this is insane. This is what happened when niggas' views start to drop. Like, that's crazy. Like, like me, I just worked harder. I just learned more things that I didn't know. When one of my channels went down, I built another channel and figured out what I went, where I went wrong. It's like, I just kept working. It's like, I wish I would be begging for people to view me to this extent where I'm doing all this on camera for somebody's attention. If they don't want to watch me, they can go. It's like, it's always been like that. It's always been like that on my channels, for real. It's like... If, if my content is not for you, then it's not for you. I'll find some content that's for somebody. 
I'll do something different. I'll change me. I'll become better at what I do. This is insane work. It's not worth it. Like, all money ain't worth it. You you can't sell your soul to get money. It's okay to just grow and be you. You don't use it to make life worse. You use it for the kingdom of God. And you use it to change lives. And you use it to show, to share your joy with the world. That's what you do with a lot of money. Because, baby... What, what have you done with a lot of money besides go shopping at Target, accuse people of stalking you at Walmart? Like, what, what do you do? Like, what do you, what do you do? What do you do with all this money? And take money from other people, by the way, without giving them things that you promised. And, and sell stuff that don't actually help people. And probably make fake accounts talking about how great it is that, that they've done this or, or that, that you're, you helped them so much. You're probably making these fake positive comments yourself. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I'm sure you have some real ones, but come on now. Come on. Baby. <sighs> Let me not say it. Do good. Get up. Stop being down on yourself. Or live a life of sulk and, and constantly needing help from me, people. Because that's not the life you want. I know it ain't. All right, Joe, I, I've had enough. She ain't talking about shit. <laughs> I'm mad I just sat here for 30 minutes before I realized she ain't talking about shit. Like, this is crazy. But yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. How y'all feel about this? Uh, hopefully, people ain't failed for this, but I'm sure that a lot of people have, man. It's a lot of crazy people, and, and I don't know. It's a lot of weird people on the platform. But um, hopefully, listen, y'all want some real help. Y'all really want to change your life. My course will help you do it. You want you want some even better help? My I will I will literally coach you through it. I'm not gonna sit here and push you to get your ass up and make videos. I will literally tell you exactly what you need to do to become successful. And if you follow it, you will become successful. It's that simple. That's what I offer. That's what I bring to the table. If you would like some help, I got you. Like links is always down below. But I'll be damned if I'm doing shit like this. Guess what I'm gonna go do right now? I'm gonna go back and get on some more content on some of my other channels. That's what is going. That's that's what happens. That this is what I do. Like, so th this is just a, a side thing for me where, you know, this is a side business. I'm starting up. I'm helping people. I'm bringing you all some value. I'm getting paid a little bit extra. All this. Th this that's, that's what this is for me. I don't got to sit here and preach to y'all and hope that somebody buys and all this other stuff. Guess what I'm going to go do? Put in some more work. That's what happens when you want to actually do all the shit she's talking about. You take action. You don't sit here and cry to your subscribers and, and try to, oh, let me motivate you. Like, oh, buy my course, by the way. Let me see. Did, did she link her course down here? First comment. Oh, no. Nah, she ain't linked the course. I'm proud. I'm proud, okay. But yeah, stop hating on DoDash's dirty work. Oh, no, I scream vlogs. I guarantee they don't get views. A anyway, uh, that that's what it is. Let me know what y'all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.